here is a 400 watt metal halide lamp. I got the cover off of it. It's the cover. You got the, the clear plastic. And you have the metal cage. This came out of a gym out of a high school that I used to go to. They switched over to fluorescents and they let me have one of the old ones. Mind you, this was like six years ago. Here's the tag on it. I don't know how well you can see it. It's 400 watts. It runs off 120, but you can run it off 220 as well. He's got to wire it differently. Here's the light bulb. The metal halide or mercury vapor, as you're otherwise known as. So you have the two electrodes on the bottom. The electric arc starts there and it arcs across the tube to the one up top and that's how you get your light. You also have your fuse in there right there which is if it overheats it'll blow and the light bulb will go out so it doesn't melt. Now the reason these start out dim when you just turn them on and they get brighter and brighter as they heat up is because the the pressure of mercury gas in the arc tube increases in the light gets brighter and brighter so you get the size of the light bulb how big it is I have like a box of like seven or ten of these light bulbs spares for this one so yeah I guess I'll turn it on get a good shot of the arc tube when it's, when it's starting The camera is not picking it up very well, but you can actually see the blue arc inside. You can see it's fairly dim right now, but as the as it heats up, it'll get very bright. That sound, the buzzing sound you hear is the ballast resistor transformer buzzing away. There you can tell, sometime a few seconds past the 30, getting brighter and brighter. The camera picks up the light as it's like more like yellowish greenish color, it's actually just white. I guess I'll turn it off now. You can see the arc tube glowing for a few seconds when I turn it off. It's, it's very hot. I can still touch it a little bit, but mind you, this is 
is sealed under a vacuum inside so it doesn't transfer heat too well. But when it's running under full temperature, it's burning hot. It's fairly simple to hook up just three wires right here. So I just solder and heat shrink onto the cord. You have your have your live, which is the white one, your neutral, which is the brown one, and the ground, which is green. And here's the plug. It's an RV plug with an adapter on it. I just put that on because that's what I had at the time a couple of years ago. So. Cat scan to see what's going on. So yeah, I'll just put it back together. So this piece here, it just slides on, and you have these stainless steel clips that push on, and it holds on. And we have this, just goes on and clamps on. With a screw. So goes through there and it clamps it on. So yeah, thanks for watching.